dear friends and respected teachers. I am Anvesha from class 1st guy. Today we are gathered here to celebrate International Wildlife Day. Every year March 3rd is celebrated as International Wildlife Day to raise awareness of issues that impact wildlife. The day also highlights the issues like urbanization, poaching, pollution, destruction of wildlife habitat and ways that humans can contribute to conservation effort. Friends, Earth is home to countless species and wildlife plays an important role in balancing the environment. Nearly a quarter of all species on Earth are at the risk of going extinct in the coming decades. And their demise would put countless others, including humans, in danger. So, keeping their importance on earth, we dedicate this day to them. Let's take an opportunity to celebrate the many beautiful and varied forms of wild flora and fauna and the way and the benefits of conserving them. Let's speak and take a stand for those without a voice. Thank you. My name is Varanya Singh. Today I am presenting a poem about If I have animal eyes If I have eagle eyes I can spot from many miles If I have all size I can see in the night if I have camel eyes, I can see in different lines. If I have razier eyes, it can shine in the night. Animal kingdom has tons of amazing eyes, but I also have pretty eyes. Hello, my name is Arav Das. Today I am going to tell about if I had an animal nose. If I had an elephant nose the day of Holi, I could have splashed my friends with colorful water because it, it stored 5 liters of water. It, its nose is called trunk and, and animal Nose also play important roles like taper. Nose is wacky. It can hold something. Rabbit can twitch 120 times. Dinosaurs protect it from its nose um, for from its prey. And grizzly bear can smell from far. Animals nose are amazing. Thank you. Good morning everyone. My name is Agni Tyagi. Today I am going to speak some lines on what if I had an animal nose. If I had an ant nose, I would know where the sacks of sugar are kept. If I had a butterfly nose, I would drink all the nectar from the flower. If I had a rat nose, all the food would be finished in the house. If I had a dog nose, I would be the best guard at home. Friends, what? Come again? What if I had animal eyes? Well, that's a very good question. But if I had animal eyes, I would be looking rather funny. But if I had those animal eyes, I would be exploring the world from a chameleon eyes that can point in different directions. Or from golden eagle eyes that would love to see a football game from far distance. And what if I had um, colorful squid eyes? They shine in the dark. However, my eyes are super blue switching on me. Right?
rabbit. I can run quickly and fast with the speed of 40 km per hour. And when I am happy, I can jump. If I had feet of ostrich, I would have only two toes on my each foot. My leg and foot are very strong. My running speed is 64 km per hour. I am fastest running bird in the world. I can kill a lion only one kick. Hello everyone, I am Ranasol, a wild herbivorous animal. I live in forest and plains happily. I play an important role in maintaining a healthy balance within the ecosystem. As we are important results. But nowadays, two out of three species of us in Asia, Java and Sumatra, are critically endangered and on verge of extinction. This is happening because of constant poaching and our habitat loss because of demand of our horns in Asia, which are used for ornamental carvings and traditional medicine. We request you to not buy brand new horn products and putting ban on hunt and trade of horns are some measures which can help preserving the most amazing species of planet or the rhinosaurus. We animals are your neighbors on this earth. Please respect and save us from extinction. Thank you, Shunanj. Good morning to everyone. My name is Ashmi Gupta. I am a moor leopard. Ah! I am found in a moor region of Russia and China. I am targeted by poachers because of my beautiful spotted fur. <coughs> I am on the verge of extinction. Just 57 of me are left in this world. The blue WF is trying to protect me and provide me a safe heaven. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Amaira. Today I become a Sumatran tiger. Sumatran tiger can be found in Indonesia land island of Sumatra. I am the only surviving population on that island. I am becoming extinct. Now I am the main reason is deforestation and hunting. Nearly 80% of the jungle is gone from our habitat and we need a large jungle areas to thrive. But we have a scope if human can stop hunting and not cut the trees our, our extinct species can save. Good morning everyone. My name is Arina Sharma. Today I am going to be tell you about my Macau bird is known as the giant of the parrot world. Most of Macau's are now in danger and some were declared extinct. There are so many reasons for extinction like building of dumps by humans, tripping for trade, cutting down trees. But it is our responsibility to save so how we save Macau by protecting natural habitat do not cut tree. Do not trade. Thank you. I am a snow leopard. I am getting under danger. Please save me. Woo, woo. I am giant panda. I am getting in danger. I don't find bamboo forest to survive. Save me. Hello friends. As we have seen some animals again endangered in the world. There are actual reasons why animals become endangered. These include climate change, loss of habitat, cutting down of trees, overhunting, poaching, etc. Let's see the wildlife and make our earth a better place to live. Thank you. Four
जा अलबीरा है जान गुरु का मेला है शोर मचा अलबीरा है जान गुरु का मेला है भाग धारता हाथी खड़ा चिंगारता हजार जोश वेगता कुकुर को बौकता बड़े मजे की बेला है जान गुरु का मेला है बड़े मजे की बेला है जान गुरु का मेला है
A very good morning to all of you. My name is Avikasana. I study in class 1C. We know that animals are of great importance to humans. Animals also benefit us personally, socially and economically. Do you know that one third of our food is pollinated by birds, bats and insects? Animals are our companions, our workers and our food. We see them in old cave paintings and on modern commercial farms. But some of the animals are endangered because of habitat loss, pollution, poaching and global warming and many other reasons. Sadly, I want to say that all these activities are carried out by we human beings. Don't you think it is our duty to conserve animals and protect them? Here are a few steps from which we can help animals and the habitats. Step number one, plant native plants, flowers, trees and bushes in your backyard. This gives the local wild animals a place to hide, eat and even rest. Step number two, encourage your parents and all the people you know not to take products that harms animals, products made of plastic and products made of palm oil. Because palm oil is destroying the last remaining habitats of the orangutans. Step number 3. Save energy. Put off the lights and the fans whenever it is not in use or you are not in your room. And save water. Put off the tap. And when it is not in use and don't waste water. Step number four. Reduce, reuse and recycle. Whenever something is old or it is not in use with you, try to reuse it. Like cardboards, newspapers, glass, glass bottles, old toys, old clothes, old books and new aluminium. Cans, plastic containers, all these can be reused instead of throwing away. And step number five. Try to save aquatic life by not wasting the water bodies like ocean, sea, lake, pond and rivers. If we will not pollute the water bodies, aquatic animals like these will leave, live happily in the water. And now I thank all the participants and all the teachers who have helped us in learning how animals are important and how we can share this beautiful planet with them and live in harmony. Thank you.